Lovely little cover. Where the hell is my cam at? I ain't sick no more. I got no excuses. Hey, there it is. Oh, God, it's... I feel like I haven't seen you guys in a week. And the two times I was here last week, I was doped up, so... I'm... It's all one hazy week. Anyway, here we are. All right, what, what did we, where did we leave off? What have we done? What have we not done? We finished the Baron. Awesome. Right. As far as I remember, it was a fairly clean Baron. In fact, I think that's what we finished, wasn't it? What, didn't Chobby go in for that? No. Yes, no. No, because Hughes wouldn't have gone in for that. Okay. Well, where are we? What week are we on? That's important. Week 47, so we're not quite at the halfway point. Just about, though. Pretty damn close. Hmm. Halfway point, we have... How many bosses do we have left here? We have one more for the Warrens. We still need the Flesh. We have the Prophet. I think this is the Prophet, right? Yeah, we have the Prophet here. We have the Pounder in the Wield. And we have... So we, we still have half the bosses left. Uh, okay. Half the bosses left. Ideally, I would like to have all the bosses for medium done by week 55. That's kind of the goal. Week 55. We're, we're kind of on pace. We might be a little behind. It's not the end of the world if we are, but we might be a little behind. Uh, let's see what we got here. Any, any moon stuff? Any moon stuff? Moons? Moons? No, no moons? Well, all right then. No moons. It's okay. Blasphemous violence. That's fine. Do I have any low levels you can go for that Warren's run? No, it's a short. I can't do shorts. Even if I I do have some people. Not enough, though. It's only two. Although it looks like I can pick up one more. It doesn't really help me a whole lot, though. Hey, hey, sandwich. Fires a flint like pistol in the air. Fifteen birds, an elephant, and some guy named Mark fell out of the sky. It's an impressive shot. Last time I shot up in the air, the bolt just fell on me. Two days later. Anyway... I think we're going to... You know what? Let's just put it on the chopping block. Let's go for the profit. We're going to win or fail right here. This is it. This is the one that scares me the most. If we can get past the profit, we're good. We should be good for the rest of these bosses and everything. The, the profit's a scary one. Because there's, the falling ceiling does so much fucking damage in the dark. It's crazy. It does quite a bit less... In, in Torchlight, if I remember right. A fair bit less, anyway. You've turned your six shooters into grenade launchers. Oh, God, what the hell are you... Is, is this war... Right, that sounds like something right out of Borderlands. I'm like, are you playing Borderlands? I want to play Borderlands. Although, I should mention... um, Coming up soon, maybe this week. Possibly this week. Uh, after the two Darkest Dungeon days, there's a good chance we'll be starting Knights of the Old Republic up from, from the first, doing a playthrough of those. Mark had a wife and nine kids. You're a saint, Sandwich. <laughs> nine kids. My God. I'm trying to think, what's the most kids anyone in my extended family has? I think it's my, my aunt on my, one of my aunts on my mother's side. I think it was the, the only aunt on my mother's side. What, one, two, three, four? No, they only had four? They only had four? Something that, that bad? Shit, I, my family has four. No game audio, right, because I didn't hit the button. Thank you. I rely on you guys to remind me to do this simple stuff. You got a prepaid credit card, trying to filling Steam Wallet with it in the payment fi oh, oh, feels bad. Getting denied sucks. Do they just not take that type of card, or... I don't know. It could have been a technical failure on Twitch's end. There's been a lot of those lately. I wouldn't, I wouldn't take it too personally. Uh, apparently, last week, on the two days I did stream, I have heard reports that people got the notifications that I went live, but when they came to my channel, the channel wasn't actually live, although I was live. And they could see people talking in chat, but it wouldn't show the stream. I don't know. Tw Twitch is a mess these days. That definitely wouldn't have been something on my end, because obviously some of you were in here chatting and everything, so I don't know. I don't know. I hope that's not still an issue. 
But I had at least five, I think it was five people send me messages letting me know. So, Twitch is a little bit of a mess uh, right now, I guess. Anyway, it is what it is. Nothing any of us can do about it other than just wait out the storm. Speaking of storms, the Havana map for uh, Overwatch finally came out. I played the hell out of that last night. I like it. I think it's a good map. It's one of the better ones they've put out lately. I mean, don't get me wrong. Most of the maps they put out are great from a style perspective. But from actually playing them, not always so much. France was great in the style department. But kind of felt... I don't know. It felt a little weird. It felt very steamrolly for attackers. Although, the new map, Havana, has the opposite issue, where it feels a little steamrolly for defenders, but eh, you know. At least the map generally feels good. The flanking routes are nice and everything. I think it's a good map. I won't bore you with that, though. You're here for Darkest Dungeon. So let's, uh, let's see. Who do we want for the profit? Well, obviously, I'm pretty sure I want to take Mortain. Actually, yeah, Mortain. Who else do we have? So that'll give us good damage, plus we get Serpent Sway, which is going to be very helpful. Um, is it going to be Pando? Pando was Pando the one? Wield, Ruins, uh... I think I'd rather take Pando for the Pounder. Stress faster, Torn, oh boy. I might need to take you, actually. I'm not sending you into the Warns, no thanks. Got it. It didn't like charging you 25, but charging 10 worked out fine. Very finicky on that one. The card's already been spent. They might have bigger issues. Yeah, that too. That too. That could be an issue as well. Um, oh, who else do we want? God, I don't even know. I don't know. I don't know. I could do a very dance-heavy party and take uh, BG2. bunch of forward movers I don't, I don't really like uh, maybe Timbuk actually double repost wouldn't no 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 I want the Houndmaster for the dodge right we need to mitigate some damage alright one of you two Houndmasters is going wait didn't I have a fourth Houndmaster am I am I full of it did, did I not no maybe I didn't okay I had three one of them's ranked up well, uh, we still have the cove, so there's there's no reason I have to take one of them to that gothic. Mm. I really don't want to take anyone who's soft. It's one HP. I guess that's not that big of a deal. Alright. I'm going to save Pando for um the Warrens. Yeah. Because I, I definitely ain't taking tanks to do 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 into the Warrens. It's not going to happen. And as far as our healer goes, we should for this fight, we should definitely take a slightly higher level one. We'll take a Zeo Poser. That way they can rank up. They're tough as well, so that works. Anemic. Perfect. Perfect. Um, is that it for stress management? That's going to be rough getting to the boss. Do we have a Snake Finder? Did I do both of them? God damn it, I don't remember anything. It's been, it's been what? This is It's the second week since we last played. I skipped last week because I didn't feel like doing this while drugged. That would have been a terrible idea. Who's going to be our last person? I'm thinking... I think it's either going to be Timbuk. Pando's favorite warns. <laughs> the favorite, yeah. I don't think it's anyone's favorite, but I like the optimism all the same. D Daredevil might be nice here, actually. Precise Striker's definitely going to be nice. Well... Uh, it's got an airing. That kind of works for me. Yeah. What other... Oh, we got Paris as well. Oh, boy. Okay, that's not as bad as it... You know, it looks terrible at first blush, but... You know, let's save you for the cove. Oh, right, you're an occultist. You're not even... Derp. That's right. He's he's touching... He's doing the, the whole thing. That's... That's not the highwayman. I have like four highwaymen. Where are my other ones? Chobby's currently preoccupied. There. Chomper. The Chomper. The Chomper. 
the chomper. I think I might actually want to save Mike for the crew. With that. Oh no, the crew is an Eldritch. Everything else in there is Eldritch, though. So. Let's try a lurker. You know what, Mike? You're coming in. I hope you're ready. We're gonna die with this team come, my god. Should I should I take I I want Riposte. That's kind of the, the idea here. I guess we could take out Mortain. Actually, that reminds me. Let me go ahead and open up the queue here, just in case it isn't already. In case anybody wants to get in. We have a few unnamed folks here. Um The nice thing about this is the stun resist helps prevent them from breaking at least one of my guards if I need it. So we could use Defender and Retribution to kill him. We're guaranteed to, well, almost guaranteed. Depends what attacks he uses. If he uses Fulminate a lot. Uh, technically, even a stun can hit two people. So we got pretty good odds of getting repost off every round. So we're at least guaranteed that damage. Plus we get Bolster. You know what? Bolster sold me. We're taking ten buck. Sorry, Mike. You're out. We'll take you to the cove where you belong, and then we'll leave you there with a couple of treats. If you find your way back out, you can stay in the hamlet. Yeah, I think it's, that's how we're going to do it. So, basically, Tex do 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 here is going to basically be doing nothing but guarding. Um... The man in arms is also going to be alternating. Well, it's going to start off with a bolster and then going to be alternating guards and retribution. Tax the rude storm. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, sandstorm. I missed a word. It's fine. I'm totally hip. Also, did I ever put myself in this one? Maybe. I don't know. Let's take a look. I don't think so. Thanks for your input. No one asked for it. Okay. Um, that wasn't you guys. That was... Uh, anyway. Here we go. So, oh god, how exactly do we want to set up for this? So what I'm thinking is we're probably going to utilize all these heavy boots I've been storing. <laughs> yeah, I got them for a rainy day. I mostly have them for champion, but we might go ahead and utilize them now. Yep. Pretty much. Mm-hmm. Get that 20% across the board, that's going to be helpful. Obviously, you're getting a scouting. Oh, no, I need to take dodge on you, not the boots. Oh, I want the scouting whistle so much, but I, I don't think I can take it. Because you need dodge. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Oh, you can only have one dodge item, though. Okay, well, never mind. I, I guess I don't have double. I forgot about that. Because I don't have the protective mask yet. Or I, I think I had the chance of getting one and didn't. Mm. Right, right. Oh, actually, your other one's going to be this. Pardon me. That's that's just better than that. I mean, the whistle's nice, don't get me wrong. But yeah, evidence of corruption, 100%. Are you the man of the... Uh, right, there you are. So you... Okay, you didn't make it in. All right. The purchase came through. You has two new games to die to. Oh, boy. Well, there you go. What new games did you pick up? Sounds exciting. I like new games. New games are fun. Usually. Most of the time. All right, so there's our Houndmaster. We got some dodge. Hey, we still get, we get a, little bit of, a little bit of both worlds. A little bit of the best. We get some dodge. We get some protection. That works for me. Fury and Star Wars Empire. Ooh, I do want Fury. I've been wanting to play that since it came out. I've just, I never had a controller and I never got around to it. Empire at War is good. Playing on the hardest difficulty. Empire at War. Do I know Empire at War? Do I know that one? I don't think I know that one. Interesting. All right. Um, Salacious Diary and Sacred Scroll. Because the vessel here is basically going to be perma-guarded by the Houndmaster, so I don't need any defense on her. You, however, are going to be taking the Moon Ring, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be the Heavy Boots. Pretty sure. Pr pretty, pretty sure. Pretty sure. Yeah, most likely. 
And uh, that means the Ancestor's Pen for Timbuk. The downside here is no accuracy if I do that. I, we should probably take the Surgical Gloves, honestly. Oh no, I have another Moon Ring. We'll take that. Yeah, that works. Yeah, that plays double duty. That's perfect. There we go. I love me a Moon Ring. We also get this for later, whenever we do a run that doesn't require so much defense. Okay, that's everyone, right? Sure is. Sure is. Sure is buckaroo it is. Okay, Dust, poor Dust Bear never made it out of Apprentice. Feels bad. Guy named Super Vader Man on YouTube did a playthrough of it. If you're curious how it plays, interesting. I'll have to take a look. You also have Neo, Kotor, if it'll if it'll load, yeah. Uh, Dark Souls 1, War of the Chosen, Divinities 1 and 2, Hollow Knight, Katana 0, Slay the Spire, Kenji and Sekiro lined up to die to. Nice. I want to play Neo. I also want to play Sekiro, but I want, I've been wanting to play Neo for a while. I hear it's a very good Souls-like. I've heard nothing but good things about it, but I've never had a chance to play it. Doom 2016 is a de-stressor. That's another one I've been wanting to play. I've actually watched that one played quite a bit, but I've never played it yet. There's just so many games I haven't played and not enough time in, in one lifetime to play them all, it feels like. Basically, if I can't play it on stream, I, just, I don't get too much play time of it. Except for RimWorld. I'm playing the hell out of that while sick. Okay, uh, I went in here for a reason. Let's actually see if we got everything up to snuff real quick. That's what I came in for. I mean... Sure, might as well get that speed bump there. Uh, what else? We want Expose. We want all this. We're good there. You gotta decide what to swap out for Expose, because I, I think I want... What, what's in here? Just Is it just the Sergeants? I think it's just the Sergeants. That might not be a big deal. There are guards in here. We're at the point, I believe... Veteran is where the shield walls, or the bone walls, or whatever the hell they're called, start guarding. So I think we want Puncture. I guess we'd get rid of Adder's Kiss. We don't really need to throw ourselves back, necessarily. Probably won't get a whole lot of use out of it. So take Pierce, uh, Puncture, Expose, and Serpent Sway. In Torchless, especially if you're going Deathless, Serpent Sway is too important not to take once you get to Veteran. Old Tim Buckarooney here. We'll go ahead and operate that and that. We want as much out of these as possible, because we're going to be using them. Obviously, I want as much dodge as I can get. Okay, that's already upgraded. Fantastic. We've spent... Uh, not too bad. A couple thousand. Not bad. Good there. Okay. Well, with Potato, it wouldn't be very de-stressing now, would it? For reference. There you go. That's, 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 that's the thing. That's, uh, I swear to God I aim better than that most days. I don't know what the hell is wrong with me that day. What the hell's wrong with me any day? I have no idea. I swear that's not the best I can offer. I can offer better. Although, to be fair, I don't think we have one for this. I don't think we have one for this one. I did get that sniper one. I think that was the same day, wasn't it? Or was that the, the next day? I don't remember. But I also have the sniper highlight. I don't think I have that one in a command, though. The duality of my aim. You also need to pick up a gamepad after beating Dark Souls 3 and keyboard and mouse. You don't really want to go through that again. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a stubborn jackass, so I'll probably still end up using mouse and keyboard when I replay Dark Souls 2, but... And Neo, and... And Sekiro, if I ever get to that one, and Bloodborne, I think that... You can play that on PC now with that PlayStation thing they do. What, what is it called? The, I want to say PlayStation Direct, I don't think that's it. Anyway, whatever it is. I think I can technically play Bloodborne... I, I gotta get a subscription to something, though. But, hell, I can subscribe while I'm playing it and then cancel. Not a big deal. You've been told that you're a straight-up madman for playing Souls likes with mouse keyboard. I, I, well, no one's called me a madman. They've called me a fucking idiot a couple of times when I tell them. 
You played Hollow Knight with a mouse and keyboard? You played Dark Souls 3? You bought... You... Not bought. You uh, defeated the Nameless King with a mouse and a keyboard? The hell's wrong with you, you idiot? Although there is that one, uh, that one gal that beat the Nameless King with a, with a, a DDR pad. I felt like shit after that. <laughs> it was it was very impressive, don't get me wrong, but it made me really reflect on my own ability to play video games. Well, she just killed the Nameless King with her feet on a dance pad. I could barely do it with both hands on a keyboard. I guess I'm never playing games again. Oh well. Confession time, you swarmed... Nameless King with phantoms. You didn't even feel it. Ah. I didn't. I spent like four hours grinding it. I sp how long? Did I think I spent about two hours trying to... Was an hour and a half, two hours on stream trying to kill him. And then it just got too late and I was getting too tired. So I called it. And then... I think it was that night? But, you know, after I kind of... I went and ate and kind of refreshed myself a bit. I came back and fought the Nameless King for, God, God, I want to say it was about two and a half, three hours more. I wasn't planning on beating the Nameless King. I wanted to do it on stream, obviously, but I wanted to practice. So my intentions were to practice, and the next thing I know, two and a half, I think it was two and a half hours later. I, f I fucking kill him on, ac on accident. I didn't realize I was about to kill him. I was so focused on, you know, memorizing his his animations and everything for the the phase where he starts doing all the extra lightning attacks so I don't get one shot by all of them. Uh, I didn't realize he was about to die and I killed him. I was recording, thankfully, at the time. So I, it is, I think the highlight's down here. D down below somewhere. Pretty sure the highlight's on the channel. Confession number two time. You have the Dragon Slayer shield, so Nameless King would be simple task on New Game. Ah. Yeah, I don't have that. I don't think. I don't remember it. I assume that dramatically, if not outright, negates lightning damage. Which would help a lot, considering a lot of what he does is lightning. It would get consistently hit down to 75 HP and just became too much. Yeah. Yep. I would always lose on the phase... It's like third phase. Technically, it doesn't phase phase, but uh, when you get him down low enough, he starts doing the big, you know, lightning rod attack where he slams down and all the extra lightning. That's where I would usually end up dying. I could, I could do obviously the the what the hell's the bird, the the dragon phase called? I don't remember anymore. The wyvern, the giant laser turkey phase. <laughs> that was easy. That was that was nothing. After a couple of tries, you just had to learn how to fight the camera because the boss was so damn big. King of the Storm, right. That one was more annoying than difficult because of the camera issues with it. But, you know, it didn't take me long to get that down. Within, like, 30 minutes of fighting both phases, I had that one down easy. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But, uh... Then the Nameless King. The first phase, getting him down to, I think it's, what, the halfway point, and then he flips out and goes crazy... I could consistently get him down to the electric phase, the lightning phase. But could could never really get through that, and anyway, I practiced and ended up beating him on accident. Long story short. Uh, okay. Now that I've, uh, regaled you in my tales of glory... Let's go earn another tale of glory, shall we? I think so. I think so. I really wish I could remember if we had done the snake. I wish there was some way of telling outside, like in the hamlet, how many of the snake fights we've done. I know we've done the first one. I know we've done the quad pliskin. Did we do the second one, though? What's, what is the second one? The second one is a pliskin, two rattlers, and a death adder, right? Well, let me take a look. Because I feel like I've done that one too, but let me let me double check. Let me let me take a look here. 
I'm sure that's on that wiki page here, right? Right? Encounter number one, Pliskin Rattler Rattler. Ba -bum -ba -bum -ba -bum. Oh no, it couldn't be Pliskin two Rattlers in a death adder, because that would be five units. What the hell am I thinking? Uh, it's Pliskin Rattler and Adder. Have I fought that one? I don't think I have. Oh yeah, because we have the, uh, the Corboli. The Corboli. I have no idea. I think it's Kur. Like, Kurs. Corboli? Whatever. Close enough. Because we do have that, so I am done with the veteran ones. Thank you. That makes this a much easier decision. So we just have the two champion snake fights left. Cool. Okay. So that that's an easy decision, then. Blossom's Vow. We're probably not going to end up using it, but still nice to have, just in case. I'm scared. I don't want to hit the button. <laughs> Said help. Uh, oh, God. Potential shamblers, too. We got a decent shambler fighting party here, thankfully, though. It's not bad. But we'll take some anti-venom to be per... Actually, we win a couple for the boss anyway, so that's fine. Uh, we'll take some bandage. We'll take four bandages. We don't need quite as many for this. Actually, we do have to fight brawlers and rend from... Hmm, maybe, maybe a couple extra... Well, let's take five. Five, nice safe number. A couple of medicinal herbs. Keys, keys are useful here. So is holy water. Four or five, four or five. Actually, we'll take six because we can use them against the boss if we don't use them any other time. And more importantly, most importantly, taking a full stack age of scales. Honestly, I'd like to take two stacks. This is the boss where they're the most useful, but if we can't do it in four, we probably can't do it, so... We'll just take the four. Uh, do we need blood? I didn't check the infestation levels. No, because we just recently, very recently killed the Baron. It's within the last couple of weeks. Let's show me. When, when was the Baron kill? Uh, oh. Uh, uh. Oh, ah, Chobby was one of the ones who went for the Baron. Really? Huh, I, I didn't think Chobby was. So we beat the Baron last week. Oh, well, hell, then we're fresh. Oh, God. That was the last thing we did was fight the Baron. Do you have Rampart equipped? Do I? Do I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we're going to have to unequip that for the boss, because I'm going to want a bolster for it. But for now, we have it, yes. Right there. Nice and easy. Although, let's check everybody else. Yeah, you're good. Fan fantastic and good. All right, everyone else is good. <clears throat> My mouth is getting dry today. Jeez. It's like the damn Sahara in there. Dong tree. All right, we're good. That's that's about all I can do to prepare. It's do or die now. This raving creature had to be silenced, but doing so. <laughs> the Sasparilla Sasparilla sounds good right now. How had he survived the, the original root beer? The icy waters and the knives I delivered so enthusiastically into his back. How had he returned time and time again to rouse the town folk with his wild speculations and prophecies? Shieldbreaker will give him clappers. With only one damage trinket, I mean, I guess it's still potential one-shots, it's true. The echoes of his Not as guaranteed, though. Reverberate maddeningly. Because we only have one damaging item. But, uh, yeah, quite possibly. I mean, it's still, it's, you know, with four people, it'll be fine one way or another. Oh, boy! Wow, we're just getting the shamblers out of the way early, huh? Was that my dog having a dream? Did you guys hear that? Kind of sounds like a squeaky tire in the background. Apparently, he's having a rip roaring dream there. You're not supposed to wake him up. Terrors may indeed this is the sound of the, the, the police? I hope not. A glint of Otherwise, gold. they're not very intimidating. No, we don't have a dead... Uh, but we couldn't get a scout. We don't have disease removal either. Watch me get syphilis. 
Your damage is least important. Let's go ahead and have you do it. An old journal entry. Not at all what I was... Okay. Not at all what I was hoping for. But I guess I'll take it. Hey, shambles! Oh, you're not shambles. You see that? But then they shoot you with a goddamn rocket launcher. I don't think the police walk around with rocket launchers. I, I guess I can't say that with absolute certainty. But I kind of feel like that's not something I need to be worried about. Could be wrong. I, oh, maybe they do. Continually Twelve damage, beautiful. Destroy them all. I mean, there's a chance. I'll take it. Yeah, that's a proper flanking. If only that said. Now that's a proper spanking. That's something I can see Grandpa saying. But Grandpa, it hurts. It was how we tanned leather back in the day, sonny boy. Oh god. Their formation nice crits from Timbuk right now, though. The offensive. <laughs> no. Is that a hard no on that one? Oh god. Hey, Night. Yeah, walk up in. <laughs> Just to die. Uh, how's it going, friend? Oh, hey, I don't think I've seen this background. Yeah, it's kind of nifty. But I like it. It's very, uh, very gruesome. That madman did not make it out. Well, might as well peek and see what this is before we go to hell. Right, right up there. I have. Thanks, game. Glad to have your support. Do you, do you spot quotes? I I have no idea, Mike. I think that was more shock and horror. I have no idea. Glittering gold. You forgot your sub. Nice. Ah, here you get a nice little uh, star there. Sweet. Lots of work done today. Cool. I got nothing done today. Fuck! The infinite malignity I knew it! What did I say? There he is. There he is. What did I say? Right on schedule. Kill me now. No, don't, don't, don't kill me now. <laughs> Alright, stop talking, Joe. Don't say another word. R reason... Why don't you do... What would you, would you say? What? What? I've said worse than that. I'll, I'll have to take a look at. You said fuck. D did I enable prof? Wow. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. I had the profanity filter disabled on. Apparently they updated that or something and it turned it back on. Let me turn that off quick. For f for fuck. That, that's the word it's killing everyone over? My god. What is this? Daisy land? Hold on, let me fix that real quick. If, if we're handing out timeouts for that, then I'm just going to have to turn the stream off. How many times have I said it already today? My god. Hold on. I, I can fix this. The bots are taking over. They always are. Hey, Sea Shanty. Alright, Clown Bot. What the hell's going on with you today? What's up? Uh, word protection. It's on. It's supposed to be on, but it's not supposed to be... Use default blacklist. That's a new option, so that must be causing the problems. Ah. Why is fuck on the default blacklist? That's not... It's fine. Okay. Default is off. Okay. And then my curated list is there. Good. Jeez. Alright, so they updated the bot. That's what they did. It's got a new option. And it defaults it to on for some reason. Wow. 
Okay. We should be... I, I, it might take a couple of minutes for the damn thing to update, but we should be good now. Oh, no. God, it didn't save. Hold on. There we go. Save settings. Save this time. Hey! We're good. There we go. Nice. Balls? Yeah, if balls were unacceptable, we'd really be fucked around here, because that's basically the stream motto. So, you know... <laughs> Let's not celebrate too hard, though. I don't want to clean up the mess. Precision. All right, Power. off to a good start. We're already 20% through his health. Can I stun him 110%? No, no, thank you. I'm good. I do want to get Riposte up and running, though. Ahead of time. That way we can just start getting that damage stamp. Why crit, though? Unbalanced. That's so rude. Oh, hey, at least they're going for Grandpa. That's good. That helps us out here. Yep, see, there, there's definitely a good chance we won't get the kills on them, unfortunately. Okay, um... I definitely need to make sure one of these goes down. That way he resummons instead of using Stentorious Lamentation. Crap. On one hand... Alright, I gotta move forward. I, I gotta I gotta just resort us here. Or should I left it with one HP? And it's fast, so we gotta kill it first. The Clappers are what kill you in this fight. Not to say the Shambler isn't gonna, you know, stress us the hell out, but it's gonna be the Clappers that kill us, so we gotta make sure they die first. They're so fast! They're so... At least they're going for Grandpa. This is great for me. This makes it easy. Hell. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. Any addition on the menu, he tends to forget. To be fair, I... Yeah, I forget. There's... I have no excuse. I just forget. I'm very forgetful, Bear. I think it's the brain damage. Yeah, I'm gonna, I need to keep laying some actual damage into the boss here. No! It's not the one we wanted to see. Oh, that hurts so much, all that stress. Yikes. And I don't get my attack to finish him off either. Wow. That is unfortunate. Okay, at least the clapper missed. I can accept that. Stupid clapper. What a little shit. A momentary abatement. Looks like Sin Spawn for Final Fantasy X. That does it? I guess kind of a little bit. You're right. A little, a little more horrifying here, but I can see it. D Excuse me? You what? You what? You... Okay. At least he missed it this time. Oh, boy. You... You little pickle over there, you. How about we not keep going with all the stress? How about we not? I need to start... To, this is a terrible fight to de-stress. I don't know why the hell I just did that. That was dumb. Oh, well. Word of our community's acclaim spreads. Hey, hey, tax man. Good to see you, friend. Welcome in. Would I have... No, I would have wouldn't have been able to kill him. So we'd still have some clappers to deal with here one way or another. Holy. Okay. Got him. Only have one to deal with this time. And it's going for Gramps. It died. They just love to go for I think it's because he has the highest stress. I think that's it. Pretty sure. How do we work that into the stream sandwich? Oh, God. Hold on. Should I be looking at this? What's going on? The hell's going on here? Okay, I don't see it. Uh, I'm just gonna walk away now and pretend everything's fine. Hey, Ice Cream. How am I today? Doing a lot better. I've been sick lately, but I'm finally getting over it. Feels good. How are you? How's life going over on your side? Delightfully, I hope. Kill him, kill him, kill him! Why couldn't you have crit? I think a crit might have actually got him. 
Oh, I forgot to put the repost back up. That's terrible. I might... No, no, no. That's not, that's not gonna work. It's not even gonna be close. Let's heal. What did you do, bear? I'm, I'm innocent. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Ow. <laughs> Seven stress. I really want to finish him off before he goes, but I definitely don't want these guys going again. So we're going to take them out. Eight? Just eight? Not even a bleed. Wow. Uh, it's possible here. Just a smidge short. Oh, well. We got some health back. It's fine. Not that one! I should have killed him. That was a lot more stress than I needed. Oh, well. Nick, yeah, come at me. I got you this time. You ain't getting another... You ain't summoning anything else. I got your number. I could kill him here. I should... Yeah, let's just kill him. Okay. Hey, good news is we just got the map. Bad news is, we don't need it any- well, okay, I'm not gonna say anything that crazy. It's still useful. Hey, we finally did it! We've- We got all five of the Shambler items. I can sell the other ones now. Amazing. We've done it. Okay. That's all for one rat. Your health is getting kinda low. Do I really wanna risk that? It's fine. All right, I want this gold. I need gold. I want gold. I shall bathe in gold. Well, on the bright side, we can safely camp now. Actually, no, I'm going to wait because I want the uh, dodge buff and everything for the boss. You, you put it in Discord. All I saw were a couple of screenshots of the bot flipping out. And then... God. What's down here? A sack? Can't say no to that. I mean, I probably could have, actually. But, uh, you know, moving on. Right, we've hit all of them. Now the only thing we're missing is a pack. Do I want the crest? Do I need the crest? No. We're taking deeds. Is that a trap? Ooh, dodged it. Good job, dodge machine. Only 35 base dodge. We're going to have to fix that. No, oh, hey, we found all of them. We got the basics. Oh, God, I almost walked. It can't be. You can't get two surprise shamblers, so we're good. We are going to have to fight everything in this dungeon, though. Well, I guess we skip one room battle, but we got all the other ones. Okay, this could get rough. The goal is to avoid an affliction early on. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. All right. I need to stress heal, but I want to get rid of these two first. So that's the top goal here. I don't trust the shield. I don't think the sh shield breaking hit for 17. So it could top out, max that out, but I don't trust it. So we're not going to risk it. You're just going to go ahead and top us up and use two turns to finish them off. Now, here's the better question. Rampart or I don't want him guarding as long as we don't miss... The courtier should die, though. I'm gonna go ahead and get repost up. Prepare for the spearman just in case he gets to, you know, go and decides to do the AOE attack or something. Oh hell, we're gonna get, we're gonna get dividends out of this. Look at it. Oh, okay. So that's technically the more dangerous attack, because it can crit for a lot. But the AOE, well, you know what? We got, we got a vestal, a new and improved pillar of madness vestal. So a little less worried about the AOE attack. Uh, Spare Thrust can be a pain, though. It can crit for a fairly high amount. If it hits, we're gonna hope it doesn't. Get him, Corgi! Hell yeah! Oh, but look at these dodges. Look at how beautiful they are. Majestic. What's your speed? Speed of four. Uh... I'm gonna have to say no. We're gonna kill you now. No point risking A. Alright, that works for me. Now we can start the Cry Havocs. We're in a good enough position for it. 
Is there a way to get back in time in the stream and clip something? Uh, if the clip feature won't let you go back far enough, no. I don't think so. I don't know how flexible I've... I haven't clipped anything in a while. I don't remember how flexible the clipping system is, so I don't know how far back it'll let you go. Archive videos is your only real bet, you think? Yeah. Yeah. You might, yeah, you might be able to clip out of an archive video. That I'm not sure. I've never tried that. Fifty. At least we're rolling decently now after that slight snafu against the actual Shambler. The one place where you don't want a snafu. I love these dodges right now, though. Let me let me just say that. Um, you know what? I think we're gonna chill here for a second because I would like one more cry havoc before we end the fight. There it is. Let's see a good one. That was terrible. Absolutely awful. Well, let's see how Poser finished the fight for us, though. Ghoulish horrors. I guess we don't need bandages anymore. We, we kind of used what... Expected to use a couple more on the Shambler than that. Well, we could still run into Rend, um, but I'm going to toss him. Yeah. I'd rather have the gold right now, anyway. Hunger! Yeah, first hunger check, that's fine. First one, we're about a third of the way through. That's not bad. It's actually about on par. Lock display case, shovels, or... I'll have the door open, that's why the dog's in here. Yeah, let's use a key. I'll take the better reward. <laughs> the better, better. Heavy air quotations were used. Better rewards. Oh god, that was a trap. I saw it right at the last second. Carelessness will find no clemency Ow. in this place. It's fine. I got I got corgi cuddles coming in. You'll be okay. Be strong, Zio. Be strong. Hey, Royals, welcome back in. Good to see you again, friend. Oh god, we didn't surprise him. This no. Not Zio. Leave Zio alone. That was my mistake. Don't punish them for it. Oh dear. Well, it's just kind of awkward. Okay, at least we landed the stun. That's it's a start. 14. I'm not going to be able to kill it, am I? No. Oh, boy. Okay. I'll, I'll take a little three three stress off for that. That seems fair. Good trade. You guard it. Okay, so they do start guarding a veteran. I was pretty sure they did, but, you know, memories being what they are. Oh, she's going to end up afflicting this dungeon, isn't she? And that's the problem with the Houndmaster in the dark, is that the Houndmaster doesn't do enough focus stress healing. So that's going to be a little bit of a, a pickle. I'm going to have to do a lot of stalling when I can... Seriously! Just not going to stress heal the one who actually needs it. You know what, you guys are on your own, and she's healing herself. <laughs> She'll get her own stress off. Don't they always? Hello, hello, Chubby. How's it going? How you doing? Alright, I do want to kill this one before it crits us, though. Dancing and fighting, there is no difference. When I dance, it's actually true. I've injured people before. I've injured myself before. I'm not allowed to dance in at least six states. Such is such is life. All right, we got seventy-four. One nuke will do it. Still, it's fine. We got two fairly light hits, so I got a couple rounds here. You're doing semi-decent. Hey, guys, holding up. Hey, you know, recovering from sickness. I mean, it's not too bad. No complaints here. I do have the place to myself for most... Well, I mean, there'll be people here in the evening, but by the time they get home, they'll be rushing off to bed. So, basically got the place to myself for a week, which is nice. Six, six days, anyway. 
Which is why I can leave my door wide open today, and then the dog won't have to scratch at it when he needs something. You can just tell me. So my dog is my break alarm today, technically, and for the rest of the week. We'll see how that goes. Unless he pisses me off, then I'm closing the door again. Eh, I can't hit him now. That's the problem here. Alright, I can take the corpse out, though. I was murdered a state official with his dancing before. Also a pope. I I hope not. <laughs> I try not to, you know, go that far when I dance, but you know, I guess you can't always help yourself. Hey, hey, Drac. What's the day doing? Does anyone ever say that? I do, I guess. Axe blade, it hurts. Stop it. Is it time to kill him? No. No, it is not. Not while I yet draw breath. Okay, to get that stress down so we're not in the danger zone next time we run into double courtiers, which is probably the next room. We need to be at around 50 or lower. I, I mean, the rest of the party's fine, so I'm definitely not camping for this. Not when there's a chance we won't keep our buffs to the boss. That would just be silly. And we're keeping this guy stunned every other round, so... Uh, not to say he won't just crit us out of left field at any time and undo all my hard work, but... So far he's been cooperative, so... We're gonna keep riding it. <laughs> These are the things we have to do to survive in the dark. Eventually we'll whittle him down, though, so it's not gonna last. Holy hell! Two rounds in a row, huh? Okay. Jeez. Everyone's laying in their stuns. Even on the low percentage, he had, what, 50% buff? I, I, I mean, I guess that was still less than 100%, but that's yeah, still impressive. Alright, we're gonna have to end it now. Oh, come on, that would've put us under... Dick. That would've put us under 50, we would've been fine. Then again, Gablatos could still stun us, you never know. Although at that point, nothing's gonna save you, so. It is what it is, all right. One, one more, one more, come on. Come on, fingers crossed. There it is. Okay, now we can end it. Oh, you know what, since we're in the last round, we might as well wait and see if I can get, see if I can get the, there it is. God, why is he going so late? And then she can finish it. She can finish it. Why is my party so damn slow? What's your health? 30? Okay, you're fine. I don't want to get the warning. If I don't kill him, I get the warning. So. Alright. Uh, ooh, I do like emeralds. Hmm. I do like emeralds. I'd have to toss a double-edged pendant. What's that worth? That is worth... It's actually worth less than a stack of gold, isn't it? Honestly, at that point, I might as well take the emerald. See if we can get another one. No torch light for us. Just darkness. I shouldn't have this equipped, shouldn't I? Might be able to get a secret room, but who do... You know what? Um... I guess we can put it on the man at arms for now. He doesn't actually need these boots equipped just yet. <laughs> Perfect timing. Well, that solves all of our all of our problems, and now I suddenly wish I had it on. The boots. Incoming AOE Palooza. Oh, that was just perfect timing. I love that. Why am I rolling so poorly on Mortain right now? We're bottom rolling consistently. It's terrible. Just the worst. Okay, so heal or two. We are better off doing damage here, making sure that one dies. Then again, I can hit him with a repost that would kill him. So let's stun the front runner. We'll get the stun on him. That's the better option. And then I can use this to finish him off. And we got the repost up for the two gunners. Perfect. 
Oh god, the gunners can crit now as well. I forgot about that. We gotta watch out for that too. It's not a very high crit chance, but it sucks when it happens. And it usually happens in pairs, I've noticed. Unfortunate pairs. There it is. That wasn't a pair, though. It was just a single. God, it's so much damage. Just the AoE. Good thing we have a Vestal, or that would suck. Alright, I definitely want to kill you. I don't want uh, slice and dice double critting my face off or anything. Ha, you got dodged. How's that feel? And now your friend's dead. What have we learned? I'm gonna slide him. It's not gonna help because there's still that other corpse there, but I do want stress healing. Or not. It's cool too. What is that? What is that? What is that a clip of? So do I even want to know? Or is it merely a trick of the light? No sense leaving that behind. Oh, that's the one you were talking about from earlier, huh? Okay. You finally found it. So it did work going back into the archive. Oh no, that's something else. Okay, never mind then. Oh, is, is that the uh, is that the scout? I'm trying to think of what it could be. I have no idea, honestly. Kill it. Burn it with holy fire. Sea room discovery lamp. There. Yeah, okay. All right. Fair enough. Oh, you didn't need help this time, huh? Too bad you weren't reliable, or maybe I wouldn't have to hedge my bets. Really? Oh, that hurts so much. I want to take the map back off. I want to take the map off. There we go. That's better. Nope. Oh, I should have attacked him. He still gets a turn. Apparently, I need to heal you. I just still half health. <laughs> you got nothing, punk. You got nothing. Oh, good. Good, good, good. good. So that was a terrible heal. What was that? I don't think she could heal that low on the AoE anymore. Yeah, I guess so. Yikes. Just, just failed to kill a bone boy in one shot. Oh, we are seeing a lot of dodges, that's nice. Certainly makes me feel better about our odds here. Although we're dodging everything on the way to the boss, that way we don't dodge anything at the boss. That's how it works. Get all the good stuff out of the way when you don't actually need it. it sounded like a noblewoman's laugh and was legally and morally obligated to clip it. Well, you're welcome for that, I guess. I mean, I do, I do everything I can. I, I should keep the anti. We need to keep the anti venom. Uh, you know what? We don't need dong treats. Get rid of those. Well, might as well use a key here. Maybe we'll get a gem. We're going to use the last key up here at the secret room, so. No sense holding on to it. There we go. Works for me. There's our fourth emerald. Feels valuable. Uh, I haven't had very good luck. Normally, I'd, I'd just touch it anyway, but I don't know. How many fights have we had? One, two, three room battles in a row. Two, two or three hallway battles. I think it was three. That's three. That's four. There's probably one more room battle down this way. At least one more. We're probably looking at two hallway battles. It's probably three more fights. Yeah, we'll go for it. An accident occurred during the experiments. Good resist. Clear check number two. Excellent. Excellent. Everything's going according to plan. Ish, except for the whole, you know, surprise shambler. That's never according to plan. We did have a decent team come for it, though. I kind of knew that going in. Still. You never know with them shamblers, they can be wildly pair. 
You know what? We're going to go ahead and, and assume we're not going to get another hunger check here. Hopefully. And three deeds? Is that really all I've picked up so far? We're taking them. Kind of need them. One of those portraits. Can't do anything about it, unfortunately. Didn't leave them. Wait, did we finish our guild hall? We might have finished our guild hall upgrades now that I think about it. So we might not need portraits anymore. Pretty sure we still need deeds. You have a homemade double chocolate cake. Does that make you lucky? That makes you very lucky. Homemade, huh? But it's delicious. Is it double chocolate? Is it dark chocolate? Is it dark, darkish chocolate? I don't need a ton of chocolate these days. I was never really a huge chocolate fan, but if I'm eating chocolate, I usually prefer it a little darker, though I don't have that much issue against, uh, you know, milk chocolate. It's all right in small amounts. It's too strong for me to eat a lot of, though. Mechanical Fuck! Come on! Evil Ugh! I'd like to point out I got both the Ancestor's map and the damn evidence of corruption equipped. Still landed smack first into a trap. That's 75% scouting chance, everybody. Still having stress issues on my vestal. The dungeons are not going to be gentle today. I have a bad feeling. Very bad feeling. I used a shovel for this, by the way. Gonna let that sink in for a second. We're over 52, so we get double goblet. Damn. You were tempted to type... <laughs> bass, bass or bass? Were you thinking fish? Or sound? There's the real question. Uh, at least we... Yeah, one more room battle. Alright, I kind of figured they would be. The real question is, do we afflict? The answer is, I hope not. Fish, you hungry? I'm kind of hungry, too. Hmm. Fish does sound nice. I do like fish. And again, I'm a bear. I kind of have to like fish. Even with the map, still only 80% disarm chance. A fish that makes sound. Oh, so the best of both worlds. Joe, you did this to yourself. Fair warning. What the hell did I do? Tall, different kangaroo tea tours. I I'd go on a kangaroo tour. Yeah, and that sounds like something I'd do. Oh, well then. Hello there. I don't know if I need a shovel in the next hallway or not. How many, okay, how many have we run into? So I've used... There's definitely obstruction in the next hallway. There has to... One shovel for this whole dungeon? Nah. Nah, that ain't right, Chief. I really want to take this out of principle, but if I take it... I have to get rid of this, and that just feels like a bad idea. Principal wins every time. We don't leave a ruby behind. Oh, son of a... There it is. Okay, we're still all right. It's actually only 20 stress, so they'd have to triple goblet me. Better question. Will this work? Please, yes. Yes, okay. That buys me a round to go ahead and take care of that punk in the back. I really don't like saving the Bone Commander for last, but I might have to, unless he's gonna miss a lot. Then I can go ahead and go for him. This guy's the bigger threat here, but this guy's got the better crit chance, so I don't actually know which one I wanna kill first. I think the big guy. He's the one who can actually effectively one-shot our party. Decisive pummeling. If he crits. Then again, the Spear Thrust, if that crits, is kind of a problem too. Oh, uh, let's see. What's it going to be, big guy? What's it going to be? What you got for me? Well, I can't take him out. 
And he's getting an attack anyway, so I might as well try and fail to finish that guy off. Crushing blow, we dodged it. Crushing blow if it crits. I think that's like four, 40 damage, 40 something damage on veteran. Maybe not quite that. Is it 38? It might be 38. Still, that would have been enough on anyone right now to put him down to death's door. I think it's 38. Upper 30s. On champion, I think it bumps into the 40s. It's pretty nasty. Maybe even the 50s. Nothing good. Dab. Oh, hey, you guys made it in the ancient wyvern. You played basketball. You went Air Jordan on his head. I like it. All right, there's two of them. Why do you always have so much stress? I hate this. We're going into a boss that does a lot of stress, too, and the last thing we need is an afflicted Vestal. But I don't want to stall against either of them because they're both kind of dangerous in the crit department. I think we're going to have to deal with the stress for the boss. I right, take him out first. Since I know I can kill him. This guy's a little more of a question here, the old commander. But we might be able to get the stun. Nope. Okay, ground pounding gate doesn't usually, but you never know. So far, so good. Oh, if he's going to cooperate like that, then I am going to do some stress healing here. Just a little light stress healing off the top. It's fine. A victory. Perhaps the turning point. All right. Oh, no more room battles. And I didn't need the shovel after all. Good to know. Oh, time to camp. One consonant with ultimate power. Uneasy companionship. Turns out, trying to turn your revolvers into mini gun grenade launchers, turn them into the letter R. Just a lower. C You've lost me. I'm lost. You feel bad for anyone who's gotten quad stunned by ground pound? It's got a relatively low stun chance. Well, you know, you never know. But it's got a relatively low stun chance. Normally, it's just one or two people if anyone gets stunned. It's not uncommon for a quad resist. Not the most dangerous stun, although if you do get quad stunned, you're kind of in trouble. Especially with the pods the commanders come in. That's pretty rough. But yeah, I, I, I agree with the, the stun chance on it. It would feel pretty bad getting stunned by it with four people. Oh, I didn't check to see what camping... Okay, we got the important one. This is the one we absolutely want. What else we got? Uh, snake skin, probably gonna take that. Ooh. No stress management, huh? Well, that's awkward. <laughs> that's, uh, that's very awkward. None whatsoever. This part. What is this party? Ooh, do I not have, uh, okay, I can prevent nighttime ambush, so let's go ahead and do that. Well, we're, we're gonna have some stress issues here this fight, but, you know. It's, it's, uh, it's okay. It's not the worst. We can, uh, handle that. Oh yeah, speaking of pods, XCOM 2 thinks it's cute and is giving you five Viper pods. <sighs> the dodges. Mm -hmm. Hey, Jeremy. You should the a better mod that makes the pods even larger. Oh, I don't know if the pods need to be larger. God. Using a mod that improves the enemies. You are using that one. <laughs> Yikes. Come and touch it. It's trapped. I'm blighted. That's okay. We'll, we'll heal that up at the end of the hallway. Yep, yeah, totally gonna heal that up at the end of the hallway. Because we're not gonna get a hunger check. Nope. Okay. Well, here's the boss. The scary part of this run. Let's go ahead and swap the map off. Alright! 
Let's do it. Any, I needed to make a couple skill adjustments here. Let's go ahead and make them real quick. Um, none here. Yes, this is the one. We need to get rid of Rampart and put Bolster on. I think that was the only one. Yeah, yeah, that was it. What's your dodge? 45 plus the 8 from Bolster. Uh, we, we're going to have a pretty good dodge here, and we're going to hope that uh, works out for us. Because that's what we're relying on. That and a little bit of extra guard prod. Let's go say hi. Just don't get hit, forehead. The madman hides there, <laughs> behind the pews, spouting his mindless drivel. A vision, something falling. Okay. I'll take the brunt of that, don't worry. Um. I mean, sure. Seven damage is seven damage. Just got 190 health. Who made you a boss, huh? A singular strike. Oh, there you go. There's a good chunk. Let's get bolster up. That helps with our stress issue here in the back, too. Fulminate! Well, actually, we want Fulminate. There's our first dodge. Excellent. Off to a great start. He has prophesized my end. Are you sure about that? It doesn't look like that's your end. Looks like that's somebody else's. Did you remember to take Bolster? Sure did. Who put you on the planet? Ugh. SpongeBob. I don't want SpongeBob. That one might be lost on me. I don't have context for it. Never, never got into Spongebob. Ne never quite understood Spongebob. Well, I mean, we're getting consistent dodges back there in the dodge machine. That's always good. Alright, we're going to take one of these pews down, most likely, because otherwise I can't hit. There's the second dodge. If he does get hit, it's going to suck, though. Too much can't dodge prognostication. <laughs> That'd be nice. I think it's got, what, like 600 accuracy or something absurd? Probably not that high. It's got some absurd, undodgeable accuracy, though. I think. Either that or there's just some flag or something that says, This cannot be dodged. I see you over there with four hound masters. You're not allowed to dodge this. It's accuracy, but it's probably, it's probably huge, huh? I always forget to switch to Defender before this fight. Yeah... I usually forget to switch things before bosses do when I specifically bring them in, but this time I remembered. Although, technically, I had Defender on already. I actually swapped Bolster on. But I remembered to, and that's the important part. So far, this fight's going well. So far, I need to keep my dodge up. We're at 87. That's not high enough. How do you dodge bootleg future sight? Um very carefully. These are muddy waters. They must be tread lightly. The obvious answer is don't do anything. If they don't know where you're going to be, then they're always going to miss you with their future attack, you know? Because they don't know. They don't, they don't know you'll just be standing there. Hell, you don't know you're just going to be standing there. Just go blank. If you don't know what you're going to do, they don't know what you're going to do. And that's the answer. As true as it get. Wow. What was that? Other than over... Don't crit me. Don't crit... Okay, I guess I am dodging your biggest attack repeatedly, so... I'm dodging your biggest attack. He knows, he knows. That's not how Future Sight works. It is now. 87 dodge. Is that as high as it gets? Yeah, it looks like it. I mean, it's still pretty nice. Let's uh, let's keep it. He's taking way too long to die, might I add. Need him to die a little faster here. He's not even at halfway yet, because I need to get rid of the first pew to kill him. The first pew does not want to die. There we go. Now we're at the halfway point. Come on. Take the pew down. Dodged! Dodged! What a punk! 
Uh oh, double per Okay, he's doubling. All right, he's gotten smart. This could be a problem. We'll find out. Actually, what I could do here... No, I don't have a rampart. Never mind. I'm just going to attack him. What's your health? 26. I don't want to keep the landing naked any lower. You remember reading a book where someone had to find a guy who could read minds, so he basically started picturing himself in a bikini to get him to stop. Why? Why just picture yourself in one? Why not show up to battle in one? Hey, 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 nah. Now we're thinking. Yeah. Quad dodge. Double dodge. Yes. This, uh, he is prophesied. Hmm. Well, if we're going to take a hit on this one, might as well. We'll we'll give him this one. We'll let him hit this attack. This is why, friends, tactics is like the single best best camping buff in the game. Like nothing nothing's better than tactics. Nothing. You know what? Change my mind. You don't get to hit. Well, maybe you do. I don't know. We'll see. Because he was surrounded by fire, I, I don't see how you, a bikini would still be better. Because then, you know, you wouldn't be as hot. <laughs> he's not going to land one, is he? He's trying. Now, now he's back. He's like, well, I guess we'll go back to the original strategy. Trying to hit that guy. Present to you unparalleled finesse. Unpar okay, that's pretty good too. But that's only on one person. One person. It's also a pretty damn good one. But this one affects your entire party, including the person who casts it, which is... Pr pr pretty, pretty good. It's, it's pretty good. A gleaming endowment. Hi, Joe. I thought that the best way to give you the best tip is this way. You only jet half when it speaks. You got the best stream of love from Mana and me. Why, thank you, Alex. Much appreciated for that 25. Much appreciated. Uh, although, technically, it's a 30% cut for Twitch, not 50. It's still, it's still a good size chunk. There are advantages to it, so honestly, any way you're comfortable doing it is fine by me. There are some upsides to the Twitch bits. But I sincerely appreciate that 25 from you. Either way, any way you want to do it. You haven't watched in a week or so. Is the run still going? You see low-level character. Yep, the run is still going. We are on Veteran Profit. Technically, uh, there wasn't much to watch last week because I was sick and only ended up streaming two days and neither of it was Darkest Dungeon. So, this is actually the first time in... Well, this is the second week, so... There was no Darkest Dungeon last week. And it's, go it's going well so far. <laughs> Is he finally going to hit? Let's see. Is this going to be it? Is he going to land one? Is he going to land one? No, he's not going to land one of those. He's going to get reposted for it, though. He's... Nope. He's not going to land a single rubble. Oh, oh, maybe. Maybe. It looks like he's going to land one. Looks like he might do it. Here we go. This is his chance. Ooh, do I want to try and go for the kill? I'd need a crit. Hold on, what, what can I roll here? We're looking at probably about 12 plus uh, maybe 7. 12 plus 7. Nope. He's going to land one, but he's not going to get any damage out of it. Oh, 10, not, not 7. Okay. That's cool. Finally got the pew down. We can kill him. It's time. He dies. Ooh. Okay, he's switching the strategy up a bit. We double dodge still. <laughs> oh, easy fight. I don't know what you guys were worried about. I don't know. 
no clue. This is sad. This is dodge, everybody. <laughs> this is dodge. That's all it is. I could probably stress heal. No, because then I wouldn't have the dodge. And then we'd die. Like, I could probably get all the stress off the party before this fight's over. Better in profit, everybody. <sighs> Hell of dodge. Okay, what else do we want to take? Anything? Um. Yeah, why not? Okay. That that'll do. I mean, there's there's the veteran profit. A little stressful. Well, mechanically speaking, hilarious. Otherwise, hilar good good hearty chuckles all around. Uh, that's everything. Return to the hamlet. We did get one of the pews down. We probably could have gotten the other ones down, but it's not worth risking an affliction. If we had been afflicted, that's the one way we could have still lost that fight. It's through afflictions, although it would have taken a little bit, so... I don't know. Anyway. Lurker. Ooh. I don't hate. I don't hate. I would have preferred Manslayer. It's kind of nice. Unyielding's alright. Claustrophobia is terrible. Hemophilia is pretty bad. But you're level 5, so you can go ahead and take a couple weeks clean up. Claustrophobia is nasty. That's actually one of the worst ones. Our estate was the envy of this land. Stress, stress. Uh, okay, everything's good this week. Nice. Well, let's get rid of claustrophobia quick. It's a pretty nasty one. Anything to lock in? Hmm, not really. Nope. Uh, hemophilia or... Let's do hemophilia. Get rid of that. It's a little cheaper this week anyway. Speaking of cheaper. Nope. Nope. Oh, I actually meant to hit OK on that, though. Does anyone else have anything to remove while I'm here? That's probably a good idea going into champion. Get rid of that off the text to do 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 do. We got in here. Nothing of interest. What we got over here? Also, nothing of interest. So I wanted to see. Am I right? Ah, we do still have one. All right. So keeping the deeds was the right decision. We do have, still have one upgrade to go. I believe this is finished. Yeah. Okay. So we don't need portraits. We still need deeds, and we still need a fair few crests. And bus. I mean, bus are always nice. We could go for this, but honestly, at this point, it doesn't actually matter. The only upside to this would be catching a couple of level threes and filling out our roster, but not a not a huge deal. So, more of a luxury thing. All right, what do we have left? Three bosses to go. You're in the Warrens. We're not going there this week. I don't want to do a long in the dark in the Warrens anyway. Does not sound like a good time. Although, it looks like we don't have a whole lot of options here. It looks like we might be going to the wheel. Looks like we're definitely going to the wheel because those are... No. Nope, not going to either of those. Don't really want to go for this. Nah, I mean, it's not a terrible item. So we could either go up to the ruins, which, I mean, we could. It's not a waste going up to the ruins, per se. Although, I'd rather not... Well, it's not technically a waste. It does still make it difficult to get everything done on the EXP we have available. Our allotment here. Something to keep in mind. So we're probably going wield. Dark crown. Hey, at least it's six deeds. Okay. Wield it is. It's going to take... Oh, God. We still have so many runs. We need... From where we're at, that's what? Two wheeled runs? Two medium wheels to get to the, the next boss? So, and then one run there. So we're looking at three runs per remaining dungeon still. So we need nine more weeks to finish. Where's that going to put us? It's definitely later than I want it to be. A 
Well, not super late, but it's definitely later. Mm-hmm. So I'd put us at 57 weeks to be complete with veteran. Not terrible. Don't get me wrong. Not terrible. We're still well on schedule, but it is a little further back than I'd like. All right. Who are we taking? Going to the wheel. We do need to make sure at this point that all of our parties are shambler capable. So we need reposts in parties and things like that. Hyper okay, we can take Osterham. Osterham still needs to rank up. A lurker, an invasive man-hating lurker. Perfect. Wonderful. We're probably going to lose one of those. We have Last Gasp and we have Stout. Two I wouldn't mind losing, so we're obviously going to lose one of the good ones. That's just the way it goes, though. Um, I don't like taking Hellions out with Shield Breakers because they're just Klepto. That's fine. Because they're just kind of all over the place. So we'll save Mighty Grunt for actually... What do I want to use Grunt? We'll probably take Grunt out for the Pounder, honestly. Give shinies? What are you, a Skrit? Actually, I wouldn't mind being a Skrit. Skrit are cool. Well, all right, cool's the wrong word. Skrit are adorable. There's the right word. Take Chobby out. Tough, quick reflexes, evasive. That sounds pretty good. We'll take Chobby out. That'll give us a reposter, too. That's a pretty solid pairing for a Shambler. Uh, stress management would be nice as well, though. So let's take... All right. I think we're going to take Paris as our healer. Ooh, Kovic Spy. Yeah, that's a tough call. Honestly, I think I should take you to the cove. Yeah. Okay, we'll take you to the cove. That's fine. Hit Ashen in the cove. Then again, probably better in the cove because they're going to be in the back versus taking them into uh, Reign of Blight Central. Nashi hasn't even started ranking up. Nashi? Ooh. On one hand, I kind of need a stress sealer. On the other hand, I want to take Nashi. I need to get this up. Get this all working. Then again, this isn't the best place for a Black Doctor, to be fair. I'd have to rely mostly on Incision and Stunning. Not to say Incision's bad. Did we get... Did we have the, uh... Okay, yeah, we have the Dissection Kit, which certainly makes it a lot better. Mm, I mean, it would be fine. It would be fine. Not ideal, but we could certainly make it work. But we wouldn't be able to take Stress Healing, and in the dark, that is practically suicide. Every group needs to have a Houndmaster or a Jester, it feels like. Zoophobia, no thanks. Alright, uh, we'll take Garrow. That'll rank Garrow up, that's fine. Or, er, no, not quite. No, not quite. Okay, good. Works for me. Garrow, you're in. Last but not least, a healer. So we'll take Drulin, maybe? Spiritual Eagle Eye, Hippocratic Cove. Alright, we'll take you for the Cove as well, I guess. All right, is that either really my last two? For that four minutes and 28 seconds, just a smidge off there, Mike. Just a smidge. Now, I guess I have three healers left. Uh, might as well take Drool and get them ranked up to four. They're spiritual, so that's, uh, you know, that's nice. A little extra defense. Although Hippocratic's nice, too. Although I actually want to save the Hippocratic for a couple of bosses. Specifically, and most importantly, I want to save Hippocratic for the Flesh. Because the Flesh is our next possible run-ender. Honestly, anytime we go into the Warrens, it's a possible end run. Run-end. The end game. Just checking the negatives real quick. Soft is fine. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. Very very light on negatives. Camping skills look fine. No unparalleled finesse, though. Hmm. I'm sure it'll be okay.
So who gets the pen? That's the real question. Melee, specifically, you are mostly melee. You're probably going to be a little more mixed here, Chobby. So I'm thinking we give the Ancestor's pen to Ostraham. And give you... We don't need to give you your head anymore, because we have the Legendary Bracer now. Which is good. Scouting, though. I almost forgot scouting. Give you the map, I suppose. There we go. That's really the only scouting item at this point that we need. Obviously, more can certainly be beneficial. But that's all we need. Although, I'm thinking maybe taking the Seer Stone anyway, just to be safe. That puts us one. That's uh, 40 additional scouting, so... 65, that's pretty good. And we, we can go ahead and do that. The Highwayman is strong enough on his own. He doesn't really need the two items, so... There we go. Well, we'll do that. We got enough punching power in the shield breaker now, anyway, with two, uh, two offensive items. So that'll do nicely. Technically, I could put the seer stone here, but I prefer the uh, beefier healing, especially in the wield, where things can hit pretty damn hard. Giants, rending targets. Brains of Blight for 9, 12 Blight at a time. It's too much. No mortal soul can bear this weight. Dark Crown, not exactly fantastic, but hey. Ooh, actually, it just reminded me. We don't need some of this crap anymore. Some of the Shambler stuff. I can finally get rid of this pesky bottle. Always. Eh, the scroll will hold on to that one's useful. Wait, is that, is that the candle's useful? Well, I guess, I mean, technically, I guess, it was really only that one that was useless. The Ancestor's Tentacle Idol has very niche uses. But in those niches, it's pretty solid. Okay, well, I got rid of the bottle. Actually, I don't need this either. Get rid of it, too. Is that it? Is that it? Is that all I want to get rid of? Yes. Certainly. 100%. Totally done. That's everything. Do I need to check the... Well, let's check their skills quick. I don't, I don't know about some of these people. Osterham specifically. No speed gain. No need. Ah, uh, actually, they're good. Chobby's good because they went for a boss. Garrow should be good. Hmm. Alright, looking good. Here goes. Attacking! Ah, uh, the time is finally right. There it is. Good luck. Good luck, brave adventurers. Six deeds. Six whole deeds. Five or four. Mm. Every time I take five, I regret taking five. Every time I take four, I wish I'd taken five. That's just the way it goes, I guess. One minute slurp, it's good enough. Two or three keys. Now, there's an interesting question. I think we can settle for two this time since we have extra anti-venom. And holy water, we'll take one. Do we need blood? No. Sure, that's about all we need there. Nice and easy. Yes, yeah, since I'm taking the extra shovel, I'll leave a key behind. What's our scanning? 65? You're damn right it is. Attacking for three. Is that, is that the minimum number to actually gain a ruby? Yeah. You could technically use one. Does it round up? Actually, it probably does. I knew all these paths once. I wouldn't be surprised. Now they are as twisted as my own ambitions. 
twisted, huh? Sure looks like it. Secrets and wonders can be found in the most tenebrous... Well, Grunt made, <laughs> Grunt made it out. Stable yet risky investments will win, will win you this. I guess so. Attacking with one would yield nothing. Would it yield nothing? Okay. I wasn't sure if it would round up or not. I have no idea. I don't pay that much attention to the... Okay. Loot are often long Got my supplies. herbs back. Well, to be fair, it didn't give me squat else. I was expecting gold. I don't know, maybe that dong ate a ruby. How do I know? I don't. I go in hopeful. Okay, why do I hope... Why do I bother? Keep scouting. There we go. Hey, that's what I'm looking for. Oh, boy. Okay. How many shamblers am I dealing with? All of them, just making sure everything's set up right. Why? Why? This is veteran. What is up with these... You're not a shambler. Suddenly, I kind of wish you were, though. A decisive All right, I'm gonna repost forward anyway, so that's fine. Might as well get that extra bit of damage down. Devastating blow. Highly unlikely we get a stun off here before he gets scoped. Nope. Smoosh. Smoosh. It's fun to say smoosh. Thank you for the 200 bits, Mike. <laughs> Not like this. Much appreciated. It's always like this, though, friend. You should know that. You should know that better than anyone. Oh, good stun, though. Okay. That's, uh, how much damage can you do with a crit? They do what? 30? 28 with a crit? Is it 28? Either way, we don't want to feel that. It's either 28 or 32, I think. I don't remember which. No, I'm pretty sure champion is 32. Or something. I don't know. Numbers are hard. Let's buff. I want me some speed. Good old fashioned speed. And crit. Meanwhile, Ostraham hasn't crit anything. With with the extra crit chance, by the way. Okay. It's not ideal, but I'm gonna kill Big Daddy here anyway, so it doesn't matter. Impressive. As long as he doesn't crit his Okay, show collection, that's what we want to see. Ooh, close. Not quite, though. Honestly, I didn't want to wait and see. There's there's no sense. Just kill him. I can get that stress off in the next fight. See ya! I'll take it. Hell yeah, I'm gonna get four of these this round. Push on to the task's end. Turns out that grenade launchers can kill you if you fire them directly into a wall. I probably could have told you that one. I feel like that one might be a no-brainer. I mean, Harold here scares me a little bit. We're gonna have to watch out for Harold. Come on, get the bleed, get the bleed, get the bleed. Yes! Alright, we don't have to worry about that, though. Maybe get the stun on Harold, eh? No. Eh. It's what, 20, 30% chance? Actually, what are you, 90 or 70? You're 70s. Oh, okay. 50% uh, chance, so it's still a coin flip. That's just a little unlucky, I guess. I'm gonna, I need to kill Grandma. She's got to slide forward, though. Curse of vulnerability, that's fine. Slowly. Now she's slid Slowly. forward, so I can expose her. This is how a life is taken. Okay, that's fine-ish. Yeah, uh, yeah. We're gonna we're gonna start sliding them back. I don't want to shove my healer too far forward, though. Is this gonna move me back one? Yeah, crap. Uh, sure. We got her anyway. I'll take it. Good <laughs> goodbye, Garo. It was nice knowing you, friend. Truly lovely. Unless. Okay, nice knowing you. Holy crap, the dodge. 40 dodge. All right, I'll take it. Works for me. Didn't the ghost used to stick around after the collector's death? Uh, once upon a time, yes. But, well, that was mostly a quality of life thing, just uh, that way there was less cleanup time at the end of bosses and stuff. 
that and technically a lot of people would keep just one head alive usually either a vestal or a uh one of the, the men at arms heads and then you could stress heal forever off of that head because it wouldn't call for reinforcements so you could always just clean up after the fight and the collector's already generally an easy fight he's a bit tougher in the dark because of the you know the absurd damage bonuses and everything but he's still not too bad of a fight, obviously, if you're geared, you got trinkets and, you know, you're not running people under level for the area, things like that. So, generally speaking, stun the bastard, please. Thank you. Generally speaking, it's not a difficult fight, and being able to clean up all the stress and everything after the fight was a little on the easy side. Although, I think probably the better move, that way the fight didn't become too easy was to actually allow the heads to call for reinforcements. Just at the beginning of uh, any round where you weren't actively attempting to kill like heads, just much like now, have it call in some more heads. But that's not how they decided to do it. Honestly, they probably just wanted the quicker, cleaner solution and they were making all the other enemies of the bosses soul linked, so. Except for the Shambler. The Shambler is one of the only bosses who isn't soul linked. So you kill the Shambler, the Clappers still stay behind. The super easy to recover on. Yep. Yep. So running into the Collector, as long as you had a stress healer, was oftentimes basically just free stress healing. It was like getting a free camp, especially on high torchlight. Like I said, a little more dangerous on torchless, but uh, still. Honestly, I would deal with that extra danger if it meant I could clear stress. So. I would like to go forward. That way I can get a little stress off before this fight's over. Speaking of stress. To be fair, there's no way you'd ever want to recover on Clappers, is there? No. No, Clappers got to take care of themselves in that regard. That is true. That is true. Well designed to be an absolute pain in the ass. That's for sure. Are we, are we gonna crit anytime soon again, or uh, no? Nah, we just we skipping the crits. I suppose that's fair. Oh, there we go. There's one. Nice, perfect. I'll take it. And a dodge too. What luck. What have you raised to Clamper to Shambler Adulthood? Uh, well, I'll give it three rounds. That's basically what happens as it rips your face off with a single crit. It's pretty close. Yeah. Although, inch I think it would be more interesting if they actually grew in size as their buff stacked. Obviously, up to its, its limit. Eventually, it rolls. Does it roll off or just... I want to say it rolls off, but I'm not sure. I've never actually been in a situation where I've just let Clapper Claws live long enough to find out. Yeah, usually pretty, uh, like to kill him pretty quickly, typically. So that's actually an interesting question I don't have an answer to. Hmm. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and get rid of that. Take the extra holy water for now, why not? Ooh, hidden tri- Mmm, gold and a key. Well, there we go. There's my third key. All right, Shambles. We got one in the last dungeon. Why not this one as well, right? Let's see it. Ooh, tough call there. Uh, we got a bunch of extra food. We'll toss some food. Yeah. Yeah, I got some healing out of it too. Perfect. You're not a shambler, although kind of scary in your own right. I'll give you that much. Precision and power. It's three rounds, right? I think it is. I think three rounds. It, that's what I would guess it's usually what buffs stack up to, and then they start falling off. Um, I would assume that's how it works, but I can't say with absolute certainty. One HP. Okay. That's fine. Just just get the Webers out of here. That's all that matters. Get rid of the Webers. Their 
formation is broken. And we're fine. Maintain the no offensive. stuns for them today. <laughs> oh, I don't know what's going on today, but I like it. I like it a lot. And here I was worried today we were going to end up having to reset. Uh, not, not, okay, uh, no, hold on. Knocking on wood here. That might still happen. I shouldn't jinx it. Destroyed. That's one nimble vessel, yeah. We've been dodging quite a bit today. Now, to be fair, last dungeon we stack dodge, so that was to be expected. This time we haven't, though. I've been on the Jester, not the Vestal. I was just some lucky dodging, I guess. Yeah, 15 dodge rate. I ain't complaining, mind you. Not one little iota. Still. Unexpected. Great is the your friends can join your broadcast at anything. Thanks, Steam. I guess Steam just did something. I don't know what. I'm actually scared. <laughs> it's dangerous. What'd you do, Steam? Steam, why do you look... Steamed, what did you do? It's like a child who just did something wrong, kind of knows they're in trouble, but wants to hide it, but they just can't keep it off their face. Or a dog, even, for that matter. Yeah, you've had that face a time or two, haven't you? Yeah, yes, you have. You actually got it right now. What did you do? That's not, that's not good. He's got that sheepish, I did something wrong look on his face. That's never a good sign. Okay. Let's get some damage down. Uh, let's see. What did I miss here? You like those kind of story... Oh, I gotta see what's going on here quick. Okay. You like those kind of stories where an entity that is normally violent is raised by someone who is caring. You remember in Guardian's Crusade, your companion throughout the game is a baby dragon. That's a mother was killed by a sorcerer. Isn't that how it usually goes? Is either that or a wizard? Or a knight in shining armor with a shield that deflects dragon fire. Yeah, one, one of those, typically. Um, and you raise him the entire game. Eventually he grows into a more normal dragon and can breathe fire and stuff. Cool. What, what was, there was another game. What was it called? Um, it, it's kind of like that, except it's more like pact-oriented. And you play a character who makes a pact with a, like a dragon or something. The characters make pacts with, like, demons and monsters and whatnot and are able to summon them into battle and things like that. And, um, so your main character, you end up riding a dragon here and there and you, you get to take out fields of armies below with dragon fire. Pers no, not Persona, not, not quite that. Dragon Guard, that was it, yes. Not the best game out. Not the best game ever released, but it was it was definitely fun. I enjoyed it for what it was. Drakengar, thank you, that was it. Hello, Norse Dragon. Yeah. I don't remember too much about the game, I just remember it was fun flying that dragon around, just obliterating fields of things below you. Such great characters, though. Mm. That was that was an interesting one. I enjoyed that one. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Uh, Grandma, I need to crit you again. How about we do that? Or we can bottom roll. That works, too. That's fine. I'm gonna stun you, though. Oh, whew. Okay, never mind. I cheat. I... Just kidding. Oh, good. The worst possible shuffle. One person gets hit. It's all over. This is fine. It's fine. We got Grandma. She's down. She's not going to hurt anybody ever again. You you don't like my vestal, do you? I'm going to have to have a talk, figure out what she did to you, Harold. What did she do to you? What did she do? No stress? Okay. Uh, I'm just going to buff that. They made a se did they make a sequel? I didn't know that. Or was it the sequel that I played? I don't think I don't think I played the sequel. Hold on, let me let me Google that real quick here. Yeah, uh, Dragon Guard. Do, do, do. 
pretty sure the first one is, is the one I played because I think I remember that box art. Dragon Guard 2. Okay, I definitely don't recognize the box art from Dragon Guard 2, so I did not play that one. It was indeed the first one I played. Okay, they made a sequel. Interesting. Wait, why does it say Dragon Guard 3 when I Google Dragon Guard? Is there the third one? Only on PlayStation, there is a third one. Not bad reviews. Uh, did, did that come? PlayStation 3. Oh, I never I never owned a PlayStation 3. It's probably why I don't know. It released in 2013. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Good to know. Three or four. There are... Hey, Neon. There are three, apparently. Three Dragon Guards, two Nier games. Huh. Interesting. So there is a third one. Near... Near... Near is in Near... Uh, uh, Automata? I know there was a Near before Automata, but... Those are a spin-off of Dragon... Really? I never would have classified... Oh, The Last Dragon Guard isn't named Dragon Guard. Okay. Near and Near Automata. Okay. Really? Those are spin-off... I never would have guessed that in a million years. That Near and Near Automata were spin-offs of Dragon Guard. Interesting. I learn something new every day. Final ending of... Oh, okay. Well, I guess I never saw the final ending. Maybe it'd make more sense if I had... Okay, interesting. Yeah, I only ever played the first Dragon Guard. I did enjoy it, like I said. I enjoyed it. I had fun with it. But I uh, never really got any deeper than that, I guess. Uh, might as well stab, yeah. Get that extra 8 damage. We should be able to finish him off this round with that. Well struck. I'll take it. Oh, I will definitely take that. You are dead. Good night, sweet prince. You just sold your PS3 a month ago. Curses! Oh, didn't they announce the next generation of PSs already? PS5? Wasn't that recently announced in like the last month or two or something? Or at least the specifications for it? They mentioned what the specs would be. You'd have heard of it? I feel like maybe it was something... Hold on, let me... It was something else. Oh, they were leaked, not announced. Pardon me, the specs for the PS5 were leaked. Not announced. Pardon me, okay. They are working on a PS5, though, apparently. Which makes sense, obviously. PS4's been out for a little while now. Makes sense. No one just said exists. Nah. Apparently it was leaked. I thought it was announced. My bad on that one. Wind wave six shovels. Ooh, I passed the secret room. I guess I got a little distracted, huh? N N All right, I'm going back. Screw you. Well, I'm going to take whatever this is. Letting you buy and play old games. That'd be nice. Be nice. It's another way for them to make money. There's a lot of people who'd gladly go back and buy the old games again. You know? Hell, there's a few I'd pick up. Glittering gold. Now that I never marbles. actually... Consoles are a little pricey for me. Especially considering how often you either have to upgrade or change them out. Or a little rich for my poor blood. But, uh... I do miss good old couch co-op days. I'm not sure who I'd couch co-op with anymore. All my friends have, you know, moved away. Do I want to wait for an effigy? What, 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 uh, hold on, what do we look like here? No. 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 Uh, we could put something there. Don't really need anything. The only thing I'd really particularly care for is maybe, like, tough or hard-skinned. Something like that. Hippocratic would be nice, but it's highly unlikely we're going to get those either, so. I think in this case we'll just toss the holy waters. And hope we don't run into a shambler. Uh, we don't need the keys anymore either, so there we go. Okay. Easy. All your friends are like you, built a PC and never looked back. Yeah. 
Most of the friends I do, like I said, most of them moved away, so I tend to play with all of them online. You know, when, when available, everyone's got, you know, we've all grown up a bit, everyone's got busy lives. We don't get to see each other nearly as much. Um, but it's usually, I don't know, on whatever internet game all the kids are playing. But I do miss couch co-op, you know? Especially those, uh, you know, you'd have a long weekend, it's like, well, to hell with it. <laughs> Let's just stay up all night and play video games. We'll grab some snacks, maybe a pizza, a couple of beers. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Good times. Someone would usually walk away with a black eye, especially if you were playing Golden Eye. Because, you know, it makes sense. Black, gold, same thing. Some little shit would be camping the bathroom. Because why not? To the brave and the we all know who it is, too. We all know who's going to be in there. You just hear him snickering from the other side of the couch. <laughs> I'd guess buy and play old games. You'd go broke in a day. Me too. Low bar for me, though. All your friends are like you. Build a PC and never look back. Yeah. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm building a new one. Or trying to. Anyway. You kind of miss the long weekend marathons for sure. Yeah, yeah, lots of good memories. Mm -hmm. But time moves on. Although there's always, you know, I could have a kid or two someday and then I could couch co-op with my kids. There you go. There's always hope. There's a bright future waiting for each and every one of us. You're going to fight like hell to get there. Hey, we actually get to use a shovel. I didn't waste money on them. Amazing. Malformed with misintent. But why are we fighting nothing but giants? This is our third giant. This is our third fight in general. All three of them have been giants. Is that right? No, we had one in the middle that wasn't a giant fight, right? I don't need. Yeah, spiders, spiders. Still, what the hell's happening here? I don't like it. Yeah, push me, mama. Okay, a little further than I was hoping for, but that's fine. I'm gonna kill the, uh, the Reign of Blight machine there. I don't wanna deal with that. Not right now. Hmm. Start laying some damage on her in the back and hopefully kill her next round. With a little bit of luck, we'll get to go before her. Unlikely, though. Haha, -ha, unlikely, but possible. Okay, not bad. No stress. Well, you know, no serious stress anyway. There's a bright death. You mean future waiting? Is that so? <laughs> well, I mean, if I've got to go out, it might as well be a, a blaze of glory, right? Those are pretty bright. That is some rough... I didn't realize the accuracy debuff was that rough. Wow. Never looked at it before. Alright. At least we haven't taken a tree branch to the face yet, although that's probably coming up, so let's prep for it. Just to be safe, you know? Just in case. A singular strike. Nice hit. There, oh, he missed anyway, okay. Tree Branch doesn't have the best accuracy. If you get enough dodge in your party, it's usually not a big deal. Usually. Giants ain't so scary. Unless maybe there's two of them, then that'd probably be a little scary. Oh, God. We've actually fought two giants at once before. Thanks, uh, Pitch Black Dungeon. That one didn't hold any punches back. One of them's easy to manage and just kind of keep, you know, tugging along, but two of them, that's a little tougher. Mm hmm. Uh, might as well take that over the Chirurgian's Charm. The stack builds and gonna end up uh, larger anyway, more valuable. No keys, do we want to risk the. Yeah, sure, what the hell. 
We're, we're about halfway done here anyway, so might as well. No scout, though. Where's the trap? Let's see a trap. Where's it at? Too much dungeon left. Don't want to end up uh, caught without a shovel when I need it. Unless I get a good scout that reveals... Mm. Okay, it looks like I can go back and use a shovel. Nothing coming up. Two shovels should be enough to cover... Finding oh, the hell yeah. The first test. Now it must be carried home. Two shovels should be enough to cover these uh, couple hallways here. So, Looks like we're good on that end. Now, what do I toss for this beauty? I guess bandages at this point. We used to fair a few of them. Hopefully we won't need them for a shambler. You never know, I guess. Could toss the four food. Eh, might as well just toss that. I was debating taking the crest. We do need crests. Actually, you know what? I'll toss a stack of gold for the crest. That's fine. Let's see if we can fill it. Why am I going the wrong way? Right, I turned around. And it's fine. That's why, I, <laughs> that's why I kept the food, right? And that's why I kept the food. There we go. Never claimed to be a smart man. Just that I was functional. Yeah, well, there we go. Now we don't have to worry about shovels at all. Maybe we'll find another thing I can dig up. So far, so good. Hello, Raider. How's it going? Hey, it's another... At least it's not a giant, although pretty damn close in size there. What? Would you like to try that again? The hell was that? All right, Grams. I'm taking you down. Ten each... Actually, what if I try and stun you instead? And then, since we got the ambush, I can go ahead and hopefully... Oh crap, it's nice too. Never mind, I take it all back. Why don't no, don't don't go back? No, she's more dangerous up front. Alright, she's just cursing us. She's not using the sensor, thank god. Unlike a lot of stress nukers, pulling grandma to the front actually makes her more dangerous because she can use sensor, which still stresses you, and it applies a blight. And does damage. It's, it's even worse. Thankfully she didn't use it, so we're okay. Is this the nine? Yep, yeah, number nine, still alive. In fact, we've tackled the boss already today with relative ease, thanks to Dodge. Let's dodge up a loose out here. Lots of dodges today, which is nice, because that's less I have to worry about. But the Prophet is dead, so we're almost done with Veteran. Three bosses left. We're kind of working on getting up to the next one right now. That's mean. Consumes the mind. That's mean. All right, I'm gonna stress you all that. Das Bear always ready to Ohio, always, without fail. Very friendly. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, we resisted. Oh, the skull toss smacks me in the face. It's actually fine. We should be able to... Why are you going for... When is our 10? 13. Okay. No, that's cool. I'm just going to go ahead and finish that guy off quick. It was not the turn order I was hoping for, but hey. You know, you take what you can get. At least we got some emeralds out of it. Almost an upside. Yes, I hear you ticking away their stress. It's all right. Okay. All right. Could try and soften one up for an early kill. However, I think our better bet is probably making sure they don't get two in a row. So that, that would be a lot of stress I don't want to deal with, so 
Buff up, get our speed up, and hopefully, maybe we crit and take him out anyway. We'll have to see on that one. So far, so good. Let's see if we get the other one. Have to wait until our turn. Good dodge. Hey, we ain't gotta worry. We're gonna get us done. Cool. Okay. It's not too shabby. Honestly, with that and our increased speed, I'm gonna go ahead and just repost here. Because we still got one more attack coming in. Ooh, went for the wrong person. Going in for the boss again. Good luck, everybody. No nope, god, it's two in a row. Nice job, Ostraham. Uh, with just two of them, I'm gonna start stress healing. Get a little bit of that off from the last fight. Okay. Oh, did that really nice. No, should have gone for the stun. The ground quakes. Should have gone for the stun. Now I got a bunch of damage I gotta clear off. Do I really want to end fight in this condition right now? Do I really want to let him get another attack off? Honestly, the answer to both of those questions is no. I don't have any bandages either, so I think I should definitely wait for a heal. It's probably the safer bet overall. Not that I'm going to like it. We're going to go for it, though. Maybe he'll miss. And we, we can always hope, right? Okay, good heal. Miss. Ooh, he did. Called it. All right, now we can go ahead and kill him. As victories mount, so too will resistance. I think my hand just started seizing up on me. It's awkward. All right. D I do want more deeds. Uh, maybe we we don't need to camp. I might as well save that in case we do hit a shambler. If I want deeds, I gotta toss some gold. That's fine. We got plenty of gold. The deeds I definitely want. Ooh, a tent. A tent, you say? A map of the area. A map of nothing. At least it wasn't stress. You were playing oxygen, not included. It's cute. I agree. I enjoy. I like oxygen. I I'm terrible at it. I can never get very far, but I do like oxygen, not included. It is a cute game. Pretty sure the pawns are out to get me, though. I can't prove anything, but I'm almost positive. Wait, what's happening? Oh, I'm gonna check. Okay, that's what's happening. Good. It's like, there's no trap in this hallway. I would have seen it. Okay, I didn't want any of that anyway. It's all tainted by evil. Oh, I, have I seen this background before? Hold on. There's people here. Just a bunch of plague doctors. Whatever the hell that is in the back, it's terrifying. Oh, it's a, a leper with a plague. Ah, I found the plague village. Leprosy plague? Ah, this place doesn't... It's definitely seen better days. Yikes. I'm gonna keep going. We got inventory response. Now you're an Arabian prince. I'm not. Quote Joe in leprosy. Unless I can throw my balls at him like Zenyan, I'm pretty sure a sniper will kill me. Well, let's hope that's not quoting leprosy. <laughs> that's, uh, that paints a very troubling picture. Just gonna put that out there. Hello, plague friends. Yes, indeed. I guess somebody's gotta help the old leper colony out, right? Might as well be the plague doctor. One of them was kind of hiding behind a rock. It was cute. 85%. What if, and I'm just thinking out loud here... 
Because we know we don't have a fight, so what if I toss that? And I swap the map around like this. Then we get some of that stress off real quick. Yeah, there we go. That's better. Nice. And hopefully this is loot. Yeah. Guess we could camp. We have nighttime prevention, right? Yeah, we do. Alright, let's camp. Just clean up. Get out of here as big and span as possible. A spark without kindling is a goal without hope. I gotta use a couple more points here before it'll allow us to leave. We gotta use, what, like half of them? Okay. A pretty clean dungeon. Pretty clean. Found our bonfire. We're nice and safe. Let's get out of here. The hell was that noise? I don't think I've ever heard that before. It was like that half dragon, half gator roaring in the background. Just like, no, not even really roaring, like exhaling aggressively. I don't think I've ever heard that before. Either I, I guess maybe it's just, I've just never noticed it. It's troubling. Plenty of deeds, though, and <laughs> plenty of gold. A cheap tapestry. A collector, a secret room, yeah. We're golden. Alright, what do we got? Faded. Hey, at least it replaced Stout. Slow, that's not good. Eagle Eye replaced Clutch. <laughs> that's fine, whatever. It's Jester, who cares? Ashen and Hot to Trot. Hot to Trot on the Vestal. Perfect. Exactly what I was looking for. All right, let's get rid of Ashen, though. The boss just went. Who was it, anyway? Oh, has it not rolled yet? Oh, never mind. It was a sodden crew, and you all survived. Congratulations. Can't believe I missed it. The dark is rising. Fine. It's cool. Let's see if I care. I don't feel enough anymore to care. You've done it, game. I'm dead inside. I feel nothing. Just cold. Cold. Right, let's get rid of slow draw and ashen. Kind of inconvenient for the characters. We'd like to lock in spiritual now. 8,000. Well, we have 140. I guess we can spend 8,000, sure. We've earned what? Um, 427. We've earned 51,000 gold, not counting dungeon rewards, like the actual quest reward. 50,000 in two dungeons. I'd say we can go ahead and spend 8,000 on a healer. At least Hot to Tron Vessel means you can emergency heal at the start of combat. Emergency stun. Except, yeah, it doesn't increase speed. So maybe getting a crit stun, maybe, maybe, possibly. It does work with the Eagle Eye in that regard. So in the first round, we'd have 10%. It's possible. Like, it's not worthless. Don't get me wrong. It's just not exactly what you want on your Vestal either. It's not really necessary. It doesn't really benefit us that much. Ooh. You know who these are nice for? Jesters. Are the crystals are nicer that little extra bit of speed? Oh, they want to offer me some nice stuff this week, huh? Okay. No. I feel like we should definitely take the Sun Cloak, if nothing else, for at least the Countess. It's a safe pickup for the Countess. I'm going to go ahead and grab that. Feather Crystal would be nice if we were earlier in the game and had fewer major items, but... It would still be an okay pickup, because I, in the dark, I only have one dodge item, or say a Jester or a Houndmaster. Second one would be nice. But we'll find something else. What time is it? Uh, six, 
They want our money. Hey, it's the Kappa Cookie again. The ho holiday Kappa Cookie. The holidays are gone. I guess the bigger sorrow and all that is less that the holidays are gone and more that summer is upon us. The heat is back. The humidity is back. Kill me now. I don't know. I think the part of the holidays I really like is just the colorful lights. I'm like a child. I'm basically a man child. I like the colorful lights and the atmosphere. What can I say? I think that's my favorite part of it all. The bugs. The bugs. The bugs. Oh, God. The bugs. Yeah. The bugs will chill out in a month or two, though. They're, they're not going to be here the whole... Well, I mean, they're always here during spring and summer. But a little less ridiculous once full summer rolls around and spring passes. Right now, you can't keep the bastards out of the house. I open the door just to let the dog out. In the minute it's open... Somehow, there's a gnat back here. Or fruit fly, or God knows one. You, you can't keep them out. If you go, if you ever leave your house, they're getting in. That's all there is to it. Yeah, bugs are pretty bad in spring, too. I miss the fall and the winter already. Bring them back. I want them. All right, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and take a quick break. I need to get off my ass for a second. I should be back in just a couple of minutes. And uh, what, are, what are we doing when I get back? Hold on, let's see. All right, another trip into the wheel, or we do the Warrens, either or. We need to do both, so. <laughs> Immunity mask or not exactly fantastic on either account. Oh, hey, there's that dodge item. Too bad I don't want to go back to the ruins. Uh, bumper crop or 100%. We'll probably go for the Warrens when I get back. Jump that up while we have the opportunity. What else is being offered? Eh. Yep. So this will be the run when I get back. I will see you guys in just a couple. 